Blah, 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 blah. I don't know, but I want to prevent it. So three, two, one, go. All right, so we're at the car now. We're about to get our new batteries and fridge on board. Uh, this is just one of two AGM batteries. They are huge. They're very heavy. Just one of these is about like 130 pounds. And it weighs a lot. It's a pain to pick up. But the reason why we decided to go with AGM batteries compared to flooded, which is on the cheaper end, these are a little bit more expensive, but what you get is um, they're sealed batteries. Uh, so th there's no caps where you have to fill with distilled water um, like with flooded. So there's pretty much maintenance free and you can mount them on their sides if you want to. Um, I don't see why you would, but you can. That's a great feature. So maintenance free. And um, we went with Renogy brand. Um, I believe when I researched this, this one was specifically designed for solar applications, which we do, we are planning on doing in the future, which will be fantastic for that. Um, it's, it's all 12 volt. This one's 200 amp hours. So with two of these, we're going to have a 400 amp hour battery bank, which should be more than sufficient enough to handle our needs on the boat if we ever decide to eventually get the motor going and taking it out and being out for the weekend. But even though it's a 400 amp hour battery bank, we do not get the full use of those 400 amp hours. And, um, but with AGM, about, I think it was like 80 something percent is usable. Whereas the flooded, I believe only like 50 something is usable. So if these were flooded and they were 200, and so we have a 400 amp hour battery bank, you really only got 200. So we got our refrigerator came in. We actually got this from Home Depot, um, but it is a unique classic brand. So it's a throwback retro refrigerator um, modeled after like, you know, the 60s style. It's in like a turquoise, which I haven't seen yet. I'm very excited to, to take a look at it, but it's in here, we got it. Thankfully I have this vehicle that I can use from work to transport it. Um, you're really not, you really should not be putting refrigerators on their side, but um, as long as you transport it on its side and as long as you stand it upright for 24 hours, it should be good for the compressor not to blow it out. But the, the important thing is, is it goes on its side, not its back, not its front. It needs to go on its side and definitely not upside down. So if you do need to transport it, should be fine. It's not gonna permanently damage it. Just make sure that it's on its side, not its back and that you stand it up for 24 hours before you turn it off because otherwise it'll blow up the compressor. But anyway, so we're about to move this down to the boat. Despite the size, it's actually really, really light, which is good because the batteries are really, really heavy. So um, hopefully it'll make up some of the difference. Plus we got a really heavy sink in that kitchen, but this makes the final component of the kitchen minus the, the you know, the, the um, cabinets and everything. But this is the final electronic component of the kitchen. So we have essentially a full kitchen. Very excited. I just have to say, whoever is the inventor of these dollies needs to be dragged and quartered because every last one I've ever seen has a flat tire. And this one is no different. Every single time, every time. I hate them. I will never buy one again. So we went, already went ahead and disconnected our boat from this side of the dock. And there's a reason why we're doing this because we need to get our refrigerator on board. But the front door is on that side and the walkway is just too narrow to get a fridge. So what we're gonna have to do, we disconnected it to push it on the other side to see if we can go on that finger and see if we can get it through that way. So that's what we're doing. So it's free floating on this side. So we're gonna push it over. Uh, might need your help though. Probably should pull. So we have got our boat on the other side of our slip now and we have the dock box in the way. This is our neighbors because um, we have to go line right up with our door 
so it's temporarily secured. It's definitely not very well secured. We're having to tie off uh, the back of our boat using our neighbor's back cleat because ours is missing. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. So that was a fun and exciting adventure. We had um, a flat tire on the can truck, which they're garbage, and I hope whoever makes those things dies. Horrible death. At any rate, um, we had to use straps to carry it all the way from way up there. So far, you can't even see it. All the way around and down to here. And our boat is still considered close. Yeah, so now I'm about to unbox it because the box is not going to fit through that tiny door right there. So we have to take it out of the box in order to get it in. And we have to like, I don't know, maneuver it somehow on that and then into there and yeah. So I'm about to unbox it and we get to see it for the first time. Very excited. This is the moment of truth. It's a little windy too. It's a little windy. Yeah, there's the color. I want to keep this on while we move it though. Are you I sure? Like the color, huh? Are you sure our hands won't slip on that? I just want a protection in the event that it gets nicked on anything. I just want some sort of coverage. Ooh, well. What? Too well We're going to have to do it on its back and lift it in that way because the front, the handle. Yeah. So it's going to have to go in bottom and front first. We'll figure it out. wonderful neighbors we called someone over to help us out get it in here it was needed three-person job but it looks pretty look at it wonderful great matches great with the uh, walls and then we got our old refrigerator that was there got it up here and boy was it a bitch because this one smaller but it, it was a lot heavier so much heavier than this one so yeah now we gotta get this one down the stairs yeah. so we got our refrigerator and it's home it's not gonna stay here for long because we still gotta put the flooring in and as you can see it's not level but that's because of the floor and that's because they overlapped the tile underneath it it's crap but very exciting thing is uh we measured it like exactly exactly as it was supposed to be so like the planning taping it out was a great thing and like opening the doors it's not as bad as we thought it was gonna be we this this right hand swing we thought was going to be an issue because we'd have to like step around it and everything but actually not a problem no it's actually really nice in there too not a problem at all and then this is the freezer so we've got top refrigerator bottom freezer Ooh, i like the drawers on the bottom freezer they're like individual drawers oh and they've got individual uh they've got individual cooling elements on each one that's cool why don't you get control them separately i don't know that that would be interesting to find out we're gonna have to read the manual but that's where is the manual that was nice that was nice it's online closes up nice and then we've got I mean, perfect for like, it's a small space, so quart milk, you know, condiments, eggs, stuff like that. Got the little vegetable drawer. Got, oh, those are so clean, I almost didn't realize it was glass. Got the second thing in. <gasps> it's got a wine rack? <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I like. This was a good choice. 
Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. I love you already. We haven't even looked at the handles yet. No, I know, but I don't want to take it. Oh, they're chromed. So sexy. And then the classic by Unique. We have to wait 24 hours before we can start it up because it was on his back, but I'm super excited to see how it works. It's supposed to be super energy efficient, so, you know, it's got the energy star rating and all this. Estimated 35 bucks a year. Yeah, which is great. Which is great. So it's, I'm just, this is the most exciting thing. I mean, I love the color, but there's a wine rack. Ah. Uh. The kitchen is almost here. Oh, we have every single piece. Every component. Every component of the kitchen, except for the counters, is here. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Manuel. 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 <gasps> they gave us a nice tray. Look at it. It's got a little... Oh, little so, so you can easily fill it without spilling it. I like it. I like that. And another thing that we got in is our oven. And these come from two different companies, so we're about to see if they match in color, and I think they do. He's got some styrofoam on the bottom there. They're not the exact, but they're close. But they're so close. Oh, look at that. The fridge is more blue, that's more this green. a little more green, but I'm okay with that. Well, it's also gonna be separated. Not, right. It's not gonna be They're next gonna, to it. This is gonna be over here. But look at it, it's like a 1960s kitchen now. That's super pretty. Love it, love it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so satisfying. Mm -hmm. One. That inside. It goes inside. We have an uh-oh. What's our uh-oh, uh -oh. Tim? What's our uh-oh? Well, this table over here, we came in today, it's been raining uh, the past couple of days a little bit. And uh, we came in and the table was wet and we couldn't find a leak anywhere. And we we know we patched everything. We did a really good job of patching everything. So we thought maybe a rodent cut in and started peeing.